Okay, so before I forget, and I'll just uh, finish this up quickly. I'm just going to sharpen it and that's it. Yeah, it's getting really late, so I almost forgot about this. It's going to be pretty straightforward. I'll just sharpen it all the way around. Yeah, just with pressure, right? That's all I need. I think that's it. Yeah, it's already thin enough. I would use percussion on it if it had some really thick spots, but I think I took care of I think I took care of all the thick spots. Mm. I was napping earlier and I sharpened this up. This might be too sharp, but the other one is too short. I thought I had another one. Dang it. Why is this too short? Because it rubs up against the wood sometimes and I can snap off something I don't want to snap. Yeah, I'll just try to use the, the longer one. Make it a little bit dull or duller. make it duller well the a really fine tip is used for the smaller points I mean I don't use a really fine tip on these larger ones I was working on a smaller one see that that's similar material to this but this is a much lower grade material yeah because it has that band of concrete through it All right, so let's see. If you weren't watching right there, you missed it. Missed the little arrowhead. Did I already grind the edges? Let's see. I think I already did, but it wouldn't hurt to grind it a little bit more. I'll probably make two passes on each edge on yeah make one pass there turn it over make another pass yeah two passes on each side minimum that might be all it needs i hope it is all that it needs okay now this is where Sometimes it gets out of focus and I have a hard time seeing what I'm doing if I make sure you guys see everything in focus. I got to keep looking back and forth because sometimes the little focus shifts the little focus. The uh, the camera will shift its focus. I was going to say the little yellow square, but there's no square right now. I haven't touched the screen to adjust where the focus should be. I'm hoping it'll just, by default, capture the center of the screen. As long as I keep the workpiece in the center, I should be all right. Yeah, it's all just pressure flake. Did they do this on the real ones? On the artifacts? Yeah, very similar. Can I do this with antler? You guys that have watched the channel, you know that I can. Does it work better than steel? This is a steel nail, 16 penny nail, shiny box nail, or common. I think that's a common nail, right? I think they're the same thing, same metal. They're not the same thing, they're the same steel. Anyway, yeah, I can do this with antler, and does it work better? 
Um, that's a good question. Which means that, I don't know, sometimes I think it does, sometimes I think it doesn't. Uh, this doesn't wear out as fast. The steel allows you to do a lot of this pressure flaking without having to regrind the tip. If I was doing this with antler, I would need to regrind the tip a lot more often than I'm than I'm doing now. And I can't get antler to be this this sharp and and hold up well. This is raw stone, so the antler tip would be thicker. It still sharpens it up well. It just doesn't do fine detail work on these big blades. Unless I constantly resharpen the antler. Yeah. You'll see. I'll do some natural tool videos. But in the meantime, you can look up ABO videos on this channel. I use I use natural tools on some of the work pieces on this channel. Yeah, and I have a whole other channel called Allergic Hobbit where I do nothing but natural tool mapping. Allergic Hobbit. Why is the name so stupid? <laughs> because I don't take myself seriously. Yeah, it's supposed to be enjoyable. Supposed to be fun, even though a lot of times I don't have fun. At least I can have fun with the names of the channels. Besides, I can always say Allergic Hobbit is my Indian name. Yeah, if I had an Indian name, it'd be Allergic Hobbit. <laughs> yeah. I have lots of allergies and I'm, I'm not tall, I'm short. Five eight. I am five eight. Some people think that's short, some people don't. Compared to most of my buddies, I am. That's a loud ring when I'm doing this. The pollen is finally getting to me. Yeah, talking about allergies. I'm feeling the, the effects of the pollen now. Before it wasn't too bad, but now something's in the air that's really affecting me. And when I was little, I had allergy shots here. I grew up in New Hampshire, and when I was little, I had allergy shots on all the local stuff. So... It doesn't bug me too much up here, but there's something right now. I don't know what it is. Oh. <coughs> I went for a walk earlier. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Oh, maybe it's just a, uh, one of those little floaties. Some kind of debris. Maybe I, I sniffed a little bit of debris. There's like these uh, cottonwood little floaties everywhere right now. So I'm thinking I might have got something similar to that. In my nose. Let's see. Yeah, just before I did this video, I was I went out for a walk. I usually do walks every day. This one was a late walk. Anyway. Yeah. 
and it didn't start to didn't start to bother my nose until right now so maybe it wasn't something that I passed during my walk sometimes it takes a little while for her to take effect but I think maybe it was something right now I have no idea. Anyways, can you see what I'm doing? No? It's okay. Don't worry, if you're new, you won't be able to do it anyway. <laughs> Don't worry. No worries, you know? You won't be able to do it. it takes it takes a while to learn how to do the pressure flaking if you're like me it took me forever and I still don't know how to do it exactly right I'm still trying to develop my strength for pressure flaking so I can do long narrow flakes come on what is it doing it's resisting I notice it's a little thick down here, so hold on. Right, right. A little bit thick. Does it look worse now? maybe but this is the crunchy side anyway so it's all right yeah it's okay the sneezing or the itchy nose is messing me up distracting me It's making me not know what I'm doing. All right. All right, I need to do a pass on this side. Yeah, that was good. For a second there, I thought I was going to mess that up with a step fracture on the end. All right, so this is just preliminary, right? I'm going to do a couple more passes to get it sharp. It is kind of sharp, but I can get the edge a little bit thinner. Yeah, I can sharpen up a little bit better. This is just more of a regularizing right now. Although some, it can't, it's sharp enough to do some of the things it's supposed to do. It's sharp enough to be used as a knife to cut meat Maybe not sharp enough for skinning. With that, just that preliminary couple of passes on each side. It's sharp enough to cut meat. But maybe not sharp enough to open the hide easily. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to pick, pick at it a little bit more. This is the easy way to do it. There's a more difficult way where I try to use the bulbs of pressure to scoop out the edge 
the easy way is just to pick at it. Pick off all the lumpy spots and dull spots with mostly downward pressure. And you can also do some symmetry work. See that see there's a lump right there? Theoretically you can push down and get rid of those lumps if it doesn't crush a lot. Yeah. If it does crush a lot, you'll have to grind it and take a proper flake. Yeah. So if anything is sticking out, I'll trim it off, and if I see a thick spot like right there, trim it off. If it doesn't crush, it only works if it does not crush. Dang it. I'm trying to get rid of that step fracture. By powering through it, and it's not it's not going to work. All right. It's not going to tolerate any shortcuts. I already know. I know that it won't tolerate it, especially when I get near the tip, I start to start to lose my mind. I don't know how to do the tip napping. Just slow down. I should just slow down. But I, that's what that's exactly what I don't want to do. This shouldn't take me all day. a spot yeah that spot right there I don't know if I should deal with it or not let me see I hope the allergies this summer are not going to bug me no not like that there we go I hope they're not going to bug me because that would be a bummer. Last time I was here, I don't remember the summer allergies being bad at all. Yeah. But just because I don't remember doesn't mean it didn't happen. It's always a possibility, I just don't remember. Sometimes the more I try to remember, the worse it gets. Because my brain says, what's the matter, you can't remember? And then it starts to make things up. Like, 
Well, let me think really, really hard. I can imagine that it didn't. Yeah. If I think about it too much, I can imagine that it was just fine. But is that real? I don't know. Okay, this is this is a this is it for the tip. I do have to pick around the edges a little bit more to get it sharp, but uh, that's I just need one more pass right there because it's see how it's thicker right here. You'll see after I finish this pass how thin it gets. If I don't create step fractures, I'll be okay. And yeah, the pad can interfere with it. See how that thinned it down at least a little bit? At least a little bit? And I just pick off the, the areas in between. You can see where I pushed off flakes. And I just downward pressure on the areas in between. I don't even... Check the other side. I know that if it's just downward pressure, it shouldn't create any step fractures. All right, so let me just pick, continue to pick the edge, get rid of the dull spots and lumps. And it trims it up nicely so the edge looks very regular. See, that's it thick spot right there you got to get rid of those so I can I can do the whole thing this way but I can't see if it's making the edge look regular if I do it like this it's all, it gets all jaggedy which is something that does happen you can see it on some of the artifacts where the edge is all jaggedy which means they weren't doing it like this probably they were just doing it something like this so they you can't really see if the edge is all jaggedy Yeah, so sometimes you can tell at least one way they were doing it. If it's all jagged, that means either they didn't care about it when they were trimming it, or they were doing it and not being able to see if the edge is getting jaggedy, or they didn't care. They just sharpened it this way, they don't care if it's all jaggedy. Okay, so that's it. Is it sharp enough to skin a hide now? It's pretty sharp, but it's 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 more like a sawtooth than at the edge of a flake. The edge of a flake, let me see let me show you. If I wanted to skin something, I would use the edge of a flake. That's very, very sharp and it's very smooth. It'll open the hide up easily. This one is like a sawtooth. You can't you can't open up a hide. I've done it, but you know you have to saw. It's not like slice, like this will slice. Yeah, it makes that sound too. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. Did you see what I did, or you missed it? It's only a twenty-four minute video. It's like a miracle. I didn't go over 30 minutes. Yeah. I need to clear this off. You can see some of the debris from my earlier napping. Yeah, when I do that, it kicks up a little bit of dust. 
so I try not to do that too many times, you know, dump the flakes to the side like that, because it, it, so there's a lot of dust down there. Anyway, there you go, I finished it up. You want to see? What would I do if I put notches in it? I don't know. I, I don't know anymore. Would I have to to a blade or to a handle? Yeah. Like kind of, what kind of handle would I use? Well, this is my favorite type, this type. But it doesn't have like an expanding stem. This is for expanding stems, this type of handle. I mean, I can use it for this. But it looks better, I think, if it's got a handle similar to this. No, this is too small. Is this better? Yeah, it's better. Still not quite right. Where is it? I tried to get all my handles in one spot, but I still am missing a couple. Yeah, I would have to pretty deeply. Yeah, if it was a knife, if it was me, you know, with a, with a big notch like that. Yeah. This one, I. It's not a four shaft. It's just a cut off. These are four shafts. Anyway, I like the way this feels, but uh, like, again, I would have, to, I would definitely put an expanding stem on it. You see where, it, you can see where the notches would go, and it wouldn't be this wide. I try to keep everything the same width, including the handle. And yeah, you resharpen it, but to begin with, in a pristine state, I would haft it to a handle that had the same width as the blade in the when the blades in the pristine original shape and yeah I would definitely lose some width resharpening it and it would might, it might end up being looking like this after resharpening a bunch of times yeah but I wouldn't start it this way okay ah. clear we're clear yeah I think mm -hmm. clear as mud yeah these are too small so this would not be in that little dark point. For me, I would use it as a knife. And of course, you could just use it like this. Let me see, do I have any more? I gotta make some more knife handles. I used to have a bunch. And I tried to find them all. But I can't find them. Maybe they're mixed in with other stuff that's not related to knife handles. That's always possible. Yeah. All right. So there it is. Let's see if I can get a good photo with the shadows of the flakes. Yeah, like that. Because if it turned like that, it's not good. There, I see some shadows here. All right. There you go. And I didn't lose much width in sharpening it. I don't think before I talk too soon it's one and five eighths now right yeah and the total length is four and three eighths I seem to remember it was larger before I I did my final shaping and thinning obviously but it's substantially larger okay all right yeah that's it